PS4 update 6.0 was the strangest update the PS4 has ever gotten. There was a lot of hype for it and it ultimately didn't deliver. So what happened? I have some thoughts on it. The hype for the update really began last year when Sean Layden teased PSN name change finally coming after many years of asking. The tease pointed to a possible late 2018 release or announcement and this seemed to line up with update 6.0's release which would be late 2018. The update came and passed and no name change feature came with it. All we got was a stability update for update 6.0 and for those who don't understand why this is shocking the reason it is is that 6.0 is a major former release similar to 5.0, 5.50 etc. We should have gotten something ultimately in the end. But now let's dive into my thoughts on why this happened. I personally believe name change was meant to be the headlining feature for this update. I feel that Sony was trying to get it ready for this update but couldn't get it in time for beta testing. I believe they tried to get the feature working to an acceptable level but that never came to fruition as we can see with the actual result. After 6.0 release, people wondered what it meant. What did it even do because in the end as we know now, 6.10 became the name change update. It's pretty weird to have a big feature like this skipping a major firmware release to just have a new program that Sony's never done before come into existence just for this feature alone. This program of course is the preview program. Sony Sony has next gen to look forward to so they cannot afford to upset gamers and after PSX 2018 was cancelled many wondered what was going to happen to the name change feature. So I feel Sony was pushed to provide something to make gamers happy and what we got in the end was a feature that clearly wasn't ready for prime time just yet. Serving as another example look at the crossplay feature from Sony. They were pretty much pushed to provide this feature too. Fortnite got support mainly because it was the driving force behind this wave of anger from fans and Sony made a program for it out of nowhere as well. And who knows how long it's going to take before more games besides Fortnite get the crossplay treatment from Sony. They clearly want to keep gamers happy especially at this time in the generation so they can jump into next gen with PlayStation and next gen really isn't that far off. But ask yourself this one question, are you gonna buy the PlayStation 5 when it launches? Let me know your answer down in the comments below and if you did enjoy this video please hit that like button it really supports the page and i really appreciate it and subscribe if you're new i got new videos every other day except days there's something really interesting and i'll just post a video on that day i'll check you guys out on the next one and welcome back to the after show this is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below if you're old welcome back if you're new welcome for today's thing what i want you guys to do and we haven't done it in a while is to comment the banana emoji for those who don't know banana is actually a part of my slogan for this channel so destroy the comment section with the banana emoji and i'll definitely heart those comments like i always do because i appreciate everybody who stays to the end of my videos and now i'll check you guys out on the next one